Hello everybody and welcome back, I'm Mashi Luma, we are playing some more Rimworld Alpha 16. Uh, we're in Giving Hills, we belong to the Around Orange Squash faction, because, you know, we've got Pumpkin over here, our de facto leader, and we thought it was a good name. So why not? Um, Schwurre, 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 you and... Downs, exactly. So, this is an awful bed, but that's okay. Um, set owner, Downs, and Shwudo. There we go. Um, that's fine. Excellent. Excellent. So we're getting some food in. Well, rice at least, anyway. The potatoes were... Oh, they're, they're done. They're all picked. And the corn will be coming in next. It's at 63% currently. It does take a bit longer to construct than the other things, but that's fine. It also gives a little bit more food than the other things. This is done. We're going to need to run power down to it. So let's go ahead and have a look at that right now. We're going to want that to come down here, through here. Jump the shortest distance along here. Oop. Through this wall here. And I think we're going to go across the middle here. There we go. That should provide power here, and a little bit in here. We're going to want to get a light in here. Um, that's going to be in... Lighting, which we don't have, so it'll be in furniture. There we go. Standing lamp. Lighting, obviously, is moved there by another lamp. Uh, by another mod of some description that I've been using. Yes, indeed. Moving stuff around. But it's okay. It's fine. It's good like that. Uh, but there we go. We got this. Plenty of wood? Yeah, I think we got more than enough wood to finish what we want to do right now. Uh, this raccoon here, and you know what, Osborne, build this. I think I just told her to build the power conduit actually, but, uh, you know, maybe she'll haul enough still to... Uh, no. Okay. Cannot work, need materials. What do you need? Steel? Probably. I bet we've got the components, so we're going to have to set another mining job here. Uh, maybe up here as well. I bet it is. Uh, bulk goods trader from the Grey Stream Alliance. Okay, cool. That's the same guys that came last time. So their visitors... Ah, oh, that's cool. That's part of it. Look, these are carrying stuff. And they've got baggage packs on, which makes complete sense, right? So, muffalo are good to have because you can take them with your caravans to carry lots of stuff. I presume. I'm not so sure about these guys. I don't really know. It doesn't look like they've got anything. Pigs would be quite cool as well for food, you know. Um, but we want Osborne here to come trade with these guys. Please! Right, we're out of mills, guys. Uh, nobody seems to be actually cooking anything. Have you got any mills? Could sell the cat. The cat eats stuff does nothing. Just sits around, licking itself all day. But then Pumpkin would get upset. We don't want to upset our little Pumpkin. A sow and a couple of males. Hmm. You know. Let's have your components, because components are always, always useful to have. And I think we've got enough food coming in that we're going to be able to produce our own mills for the moment. Do we want to buy some blocks, maybe? bit expensive. I don't think we really want to sell anything, do we? Um, we're not that far along. Even Crystal the cat can stay, as we discussed. Uh, no, that's fine. That's okay. We'll just buy your components, and that's absolutely fine. Um, this still isn't getting power, and won't until this all gets built. People are working on the floor. I've sort of overloaded our constructors again. Arrgh. No, I don't think that's the case. We're going to get this done, and then we're going to work on some walls. And I think that's going to be the most important thing very quickly. Probably build across here somehow, up to this wall. Link that in. Link this across here. Possibly even up and out. I don't know. Let's just link it across here first. That's the shortest distance. And probably just straight across. I don't know, I, I kind of feel like we're going to build little houses over here, yeah? 
houses or just rooms. I, I have not decided yet. We'll, we'll, we'll sort it out when we get there. Um, across here, I think that's not much difference to across out here. So we'll try and do this out here. And this, again, I think across here and across here doesn't use that much more the material than straight across here. I mean, do we want this inside the base? Does it really make a difference? Hmm. I don't know. We'll do it. Bye, guys. Thanks for stopping by. It was really useful of you to bring the components. We need those sorts of things. Um, did we still not get this built? God damn it. Pumpkin, come build. Come build. Excellent. Components we should have. I think we've got 24 at the moment. Yeah, we deconstructed a couple of ship parts, right? So there we go. Now we can start refrigerating this. I bet that raccoon's gone off. Not refrigerated. Spoils in less than a day. You know what? Osborne, prioritize. No, not the floor. Already constructing butcher's table. Good. That's what I like to see. Get that built. Get it done. And then... Downs, what are you doing? Cooking a simple meal, that's fantastic. This is now built. Uh, you gonna... Uh, again, 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 again. Set the bill to butcher creature forever. Downs is over here. Prioritize that. Excellent. So this room should be cooling down. It's 13 degrees in here. Oh, we probably need to uh, reduce the temperature on this cooler. And in fact, while I'm at it, it might not be a bad idea to reduce the temperature on this one. Although it's not been hooked up to the power yet, but that's fine. So we've now got a bit of meat, I presume. Did we go straight to... What's this? A dead squirrel that is rotting. Um... Okay, why did we bring that indoors? Who killed it? I'm betting something hunted it within our home zone, so it didn't get insta-forbidden. Um, we've not had any warnings over here, so let's go and de well, let's, let's If we're going to deconstruct anything, let's deconstruct the one here. It's a marble wall. I'll deconstruct that. What are we going to do with bodies? It'd be nice to incinerate the rotting body. But for now, I think I'm going to go over here, orders, zone, say like this. Nobody should have ever really come out here. Clear all. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Allow rotten. Low priority. So nobody's going to bring anything here unless it's really, really rotten. But yeah, that should be okay. So we'll let that run for a minute or two, and that should be fine. Building some floors, some walls. Come on guys, get this floor finished. I want to start on the walls because otherwise, yeah, we're going to be attacked and things are going to be bad. Because we've not got the best fighters. Need joy source? That's very true. Um... I don't know, let's have a look. The, be the, the, the easiest thing to do, you know what, let's build a chess table in here. Um, just there. And a couple of chairs. Like this. And this. And we'll put down a horseshoe pin uh, over here for now. And we'll see what happens. Right, now we've got that down, we just need people to actually uh, start building these things. That should go pretty quick. You are getting the table and chairs done, that's good. Uh, why are you going to say, oh, you're going for a walk. That's kind of fine too, you know, everybody needs a bit of time to relax. Um, we got wood? Yeah, we got loads of wood. Bit, all a bit spaced out at the moment. Uh, why are you hauling... I think we've got you at hauling above building? Pumpkin? Yeah. Uh, let's move that down to a three. Go build. Get building. Do that. Thank you. That's going to be fine. 
Then you can haul in stuff. That's why stuff's not getting done. She's running the stuff over here, which is sometimes even further away than this stuff over here. Whatever. We, we, we just need people to actually build. My fault for setting things up a little bit skew with, but we're okay now. We still haven't actually built... That, there, we go, there we go. The chest table's getting done. What do we get? Shoddy and... Oh, a normal quality chair. Amazing! Uh, we're going to have to go... Oh, this is also normal quality. We're going to have to go through all this stuff at some point in the future and just double check it all, make sure it is okay for our base because we're going to want at least normal quality throughout the base. This bed did turn out normal. That's nice. And yeah, this one was awful. We've looked at that and these are all terrible. So we're going to probably ditch all these as soon as possible. Our temporary sleeping situation here is going to be need to be rectified soon. Like I say, get these floors finished. That should, that's all happening a lot quicker now, thankfully. In fact, most of this is in place. Uh, we may need to do another big cutting to finish the walls line. I think I will do this one further out here. Um, in fact, can we start planning it? No, because they'll prioritise the walls over the floors, and I want them to finish the floors first. I really, really do. One spawn. How are we looking? 7.9%. That's not too shabby. That's that's potential there, you know. Could happen. Any time now. What do we get that? Once or twice a day? I'm not sure. Possibly even three times a day. I'm not sure what the cooldown is on that. Is there a... Uh, imprisoned, naked, ate without a table. Feeling good? Just feels good. For no apparent reason. Low expectations. That's actually good. It's really good, actually. Um, that's definitely going to be helping. Very comfortable because he's in a nice bed. That's also good. Uh, these all pretty much done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These done. 90 poor, 90%. That's good. Growing's pretty much done as well. I think that's all set up properly. We don't need to worry too much about it, which is nice. Yeah, we're getting some more rice now. That's great. We have got three meals. So it's a bit close, but we're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Come on, two more bits. There we go. So we've got this set up. It's a little bit cramped in here, but that's okay. Area revealed. Ah, yes, yes, I got them. Finally got that done. Right, now I'm going to go set up my walls. Okay. So I think I'm going to come from here, because this little bit sticking out isn't the most secure. And from here. Right. Up here. And here. There we go. And for the moment, I am just going to double door everything. There. 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 Again, I know these are weak points at the moment, but we'll replace things and sort stuff out in the future. We'll get that done first so that people aren't running all over the place. I will go ahead and set another uh, chop wood job say here so that we've got a ton of wood here. That would make sense, right? New recruit! Well that was good. So we have now got a uh, shoe with a 9% chance. Wonderful. Shoe here is going to be our miner, cleaner, yeah, that's it, and hauler, I think, right, because that's all you can really do effectively, bed rest, flick for sure, handle, not really, uh, you know what, you can help out cleaning, um, constructing, I mean, growing, yeah, why not help out with that as well, you know, if, if, if it comes up, help out, don't, right, you guys, I don't want you to bother mining it. Well, you can because actually you don't do much else. You construct. In fact, you're... Yeah. Yeah, but no skill, no point. Zero, just one, right? Seven, four, yeah, yeah, that's fine. And this is a two as well? Yeah, that's fine. So plant, cut and grow you'll help with and constructing. Otherwise hauling and cleaning. Right, I've only got one construction because we've got like mass production, uh, mass construction going on right now. Um, plant cut again, mass plant cut, so everybody can sort of help with that. 
There we go, we'll get stuff built quickly and effectively. And having lots of people constructing makes that go very quick. Um, our main plank cutters though... Right, so I think these are pretty much ready. Not quite. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's okay. Um, yeah, because otherwise Schwer would be cutting them, right? Maybe not. I think you need to be growing and cutting. But then Downs would do that. that. That's okay. Yeah, he would do that first. He's the one mostly in charge of that, so that's okay. In fact, we've even got some corn coming up. It's been left outside right now, which is a bit annoying. But, you know, even outside in this temperature, it's got three seasons before it goes off. Yeah, deteriorating though. That that won't take three seasons. Eating raw corn, not the best thing in the world, but better than going hungry, I suppose. Again, I'm going to have to shift this. It's kind of annoying. I'll probably bring this out one put the cooking table here. Can you move these now? No, you have to deconstruct them. Arrgh. How annoying. God damn it. Right, let's go and in preparation for that, build this. This here is easily minus eight, minus nine. Yeah, no problems. Oh, minus seven, minus eight. So actually it's struggling a little bit. But this is about as warm as it should ever get, so that's fine. And it's 22 here, 19 here. That's probably been helped by the leakage through the doors, I would imagine. Because that's quite a big difference to outside. Whereas if we look here, yeah, it's 31. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The leakage through the doors is making quite a bit of difference there, I think. But that's okay, that's good, right? So we've done that. Let's X this, this, and this. The idea is I'm just shifting everything up one, right? Hmm. How irritating the... This can actually be reinstalled over here for now. Yeah. I think that's okay. Oh, this all got finished. Excellent. Um, that needs hauling away. Not that we've got anywhere to haul it yet. Go crystal. So we'll forbid that because we don't want to actually eat it. Well, no, you know what? We, we can use the rest. That's fine. We can butcher the rest. In fact, Downs, do that now. Cannot? Okay. Oh. It's being hauled, that's why, yeah, yeah. Now that's perfectly fine. It is minus four, minus five in here. Ooh, why are we struggling so much? We got the temperatures set properly, minus nine, yes, we have. Um, just because it's 30 degrees outside, it's just struggling. Okay, huh. We may need a third refrigerating unit. It's fine at night, it just struggles around 30 degrees. So if we have a heat wave or something, we're going to have problems. And this one, 7, 8, 7, 8, yeah. Yeah, well, this one should be fine, whatever, right? It's meals, yeah? They, they tend, it is frozen right now. They tend not to go off too quickly. I think they get like six, seven days, right? So that's not the worst. Um, and we're not getting tons of meals ready. But we didn't have much food for a while. We've got a fair amount of corn now. We should be okay. I will put, however, because I think we can handle growing a, on a bit larger scale, another, say, yeah, well, that would be potato fields then, because that's what he's planting, and actually that's fine. Um, and then what? I think another corn field here. That's going to be great. Uh, this one, more rice. Sorted. And then I want one more, which is going to be strawberries. There we go. And that should be more than enough food for many, many peoples. 
Yeah, but that's going to be okay. We might end up building over a bit of this fertile soil, but that's going to be okay as well, I think. We'll see. Um, so we've got a bit of... People will probably decide to walk through here, I suppose. I'm going to want to say... Build the next set of walls. That would be a good idea, because it's not going to be long. Come up and across and across and down beautiful and we'll put a couple of doors in here a couple of doors in here and a couple of doors up here that's going to be great lovely uh unhappy nudity shoe yeah we don't have any clothes um that begs the question do we then want to go and put another area for growing in think we do the answer is yes and we're going to put cotton down right just the one for now I think that's going to be enough for a minute or two and yeah that's fine I don't think like you know it's not completely on the fertile ground but that's okay fertile ground can be used for other things again like you know the hill route is pretty important food all together is pretty important so that's the sort of thing we want on the fertile ground. We've got another patch here, and we probably won't come much closer. Ancient danger. This is an ancient danger, so we're going to have to be careful of that. Um, that could be very interesting if we put our kill zone here and somebody comes along with grenades and opens this up, and then they get into a fight with the mechanoids. Potentially interesting, that's for sure. Uh, this is coming along quite nicely. We've got a ton of wood over here still. Yeah, yeah, we've got so much wood. So much wood. Let's go... Oh, we don't really need to chop any down here anymore. In preparation, we'll chop it load down here. And down here. And then basically we just won't have to walk anywhere to move the wood. And then we can probably sell wood to somebody. You don't get tons of money for selling wood, but you do get some. Uh, floor. I'm going to want to go and build a wooden floor here, please. ASAP. Um, and I'm going to want to go and put wall here, 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 and here. And probably along here. That's going to be fine for a moment. We'll just leave this as a bit of a longer hallway, I think. And then we'll deconstruct the other walls. Boom, boom. Meow, meow. Where is our crystal? Away, up here. Wandering. Uh, Downs, why aren't you cooking? You're harvesting. That's fine. Cook. I actually do want you to prioritise cooking over harvesting. Oh uh, no, not really, because when it comes to the crops, we want you to... I'll just prioritise the cooking for a moment, because we don't have any food. Any food food. So we'll get a few reserves going. And then... Yes, there we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, right, so we can now deconstruct this and this and this x x x x x and this and this and this and this and then there should be room for this geezer and it still looks symmetrical this room's a little bit smaller but that's okay because we're going to sort that out we can reinstall the lamp say I'm probably going to want it here to be honest that makes the most sense this we can't reinstall so we'll leave it where it is beautiful 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 right and then we want to build this wall because we are gonna uh, the plant oh we can reinstall that um, to here and this we can now deconstruct. Right. 
it's already reserved. But you're filling it up with wood, aren't you? No, you're deconstructing it, that's good. Do that. Bit of a waste, but at the end of the day, I think worth it. Uh, we've put this in the wrong place. Reinstall, say. Well, here. Uh, right, okay, this. Reinstall. Yeah, like that. Production, fueled stove, like that. This, reinstall. You know what? Um, put the lamp here. This is going to make this a very cramped little kitchen. But you know what? That's okay. Deconstruct this, and this, and this, and this. And I'm going to want to move the door out, put a wall here and here. That's fine. And this time, a friendly AI from your past named Charlton Whitestone has sent you a message. He reveals that he has a starship hidden on this planet and sends you its world coordinates. If you travel to the ship, Charlton will take you off this rim world to the stars. Okay, this is a new victory condition. Instead of ha having to actually build your own starship, you can travel across the world to then this location. And there's a starship here waiting, ready for you to take how many people? I don't know. Um, but compared to us, where are we? Yeah, like, that's literally, we're here. That's literally the other side of the world. Look, that's like, darkness line is here, and it's sort of that far away from it. And we're here, just right on the edge of the darkness line, so that would put it sort of here. So, going this way would be quicker. Um, but yeah, travelling there, I don't know, can we travel in the water? We wouldn't need to, the land does connect up. Yeah, so we could just set off on a voyage. And try to get there. I think we'd have to take sort of everything with us. That we could. So you can abandon. Disabled, all your colonists are here. Yeah, you'd have to form a caravan and start moving out, I presume. Um, I don't think we want to do that, though. I think we want to stick around here and see what we can accomplish to start with. We'll make this place safe, and then we'll think about what we're doing otherwise. I mean, yeah, definitely. To start with, that's what we're doing. Um, Construction-wise, what have we got? Hair Revenge. I bet that's our cat having some food again. Um, the one door through here I think is fine. Let's... I wanted to link up this, but... Let's just go with a straight wall like this. That's that's going to be fine. Um, we'll do a... The one door is probably enough, but let's do a couple of doors just because. Right, there we go. And that will get that done. Hare Revenge. A hare is attacking after being harmed. Yeah. But it's fine. Old Crystal here knows what she's doing. Like, you know, zero injuries. She's actually doing really well. Hmm. Enjoy, Crystal. You earned it. Congratulations. Downs is harvesting oak trees. That's Fine, let's prioritise this. Going to have to, uh, well, no, don't cut plants. Reinstall this next to here. Deconstruct this. Uh, put a new bit of wall in here. And here, I'm going to make this a bit longer. I quite liked it before, but now it seems very cramped. Um, yeah, we're deconstructing that. We'll expand this out like so. That should be okay. We're going to need to start putting these blocks somewhere soon. 
probably in a storage room close to this, or so. I want them indoors, out the way, so people can't see them. Ooh, spacecraft. Uh, that's not really that close. We'll leave it be for a minute. If we ever get desperate for materials, uh, so components, you get quite a lot of components out of that, but for now we're okay. We had a few locking around anyway, I think. You know, it'd be quite easy actually to block off all of this area and incorporate this into the base. We're going to be fine. I quite like these large hills give you plenty of opportunity to actually barricade yourself in, so to say. I mean, this is going to be pretty much impenetrable. I'm going to make this impenetrable as well. There's going to be a third layer of rock wall outside and we'll see how that works and we could potentially even replace all the wooden walls eventually with just triple thick, double or triple thick rock walls. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah. Anyway, our defences are nearly there. I'm just going to place our last sections of wall. Hmm. We're going to want that inside the wall, right? So I think from there, one, two, I think that's how large it is. So let's do, say, this. That's going to be okay. Double it up like so. Have a doors here and here. I've only done this little kink here just to make sure we get this inside. And here, I mean, at this point it'd be so easy to sort of just bring this all the way and bring this, but, but that's huge, right? We don't really need that much space, do we? We might do, eventually, but not right now. So for now, I'm just going to build this and this. That's going to be fine. We'll put one bit of door in here. And that's going to be okay. Yeah. How are we doing up here? Did we get rid of that door? We did. Let's go ahead and move that out. There we go, and we want a bit of wall here as well, just to finish the insulation off. This is indeed holding the temperature quite well. You know, I think 28 here, 21 here. I don't think that's having much of an effect anymore outside, but that's okay. Once we've got all these walls done next episode, I'll start working on some rooms. I think they're going to go over here. In fact, what I might do is take all the doors out here to remove any temptation of invaders to try and break through this area. And this will be sort of our residential area. Something along those lines. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, sorry, I'll try that again. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I've been Magic Luma. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do hit the like button. It's still quite early in the series, and every like helps. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time, boys and girls. Bye-bye.